this year's math is different from elementary's math because the teachers have like a really good way of explaining things it makes me use my brain more in the past our teacher would introduce a topic and then we'd practice it with them then we would take a test on it but now this year is different because miss thomas will show us a high level task like a question being thrown at you um that you kind of don't know but you kind of do you know it's like you know some skills that require in the question but you don't know the rest she had 36 feet of fencing she measured her first two points at negative five eight and seven eight before losing her blueprint somebody with the quiet hand what is a blueprint she like gives us clues like she will not she won't tell you the answer but like she'll kind of like challenge you in order to get it right whenever a teacher doesn't tell you something it challenges you to put an effort and work into the problem until you get it right we don't do it by ourselves we go with our teams and we have to figure it out together so we each have to put a part in the team we don't have to do it on our own what are the three jobs we are focusing on in this room? What are the three jobs you are focusing on? Facilitator, speaker, and... Facilitator, speaker, and... Okay, now... At first, it's like, you're not with your friends, so you probably don't know you're the person that you're talking to. So then, like, over the year, um it got a little better because like you know who you're talking to now and you got to know them more. Benefits of working in the group in a high level task is that we can learn new ways on doing this stuff. If you have a partner, you can either get stumped with them or like or they can help you solve it out and like you can it can be a good a good thing. You could do one part of one person's idea and then a part of the other person's idea and then you get the correct answer. If somebody needs help, I like helping them or if I need help, somebody usually helps me and I like working together with other people. We were doing this thing where she puts on music, we walk around the room and when she stops the music, the partner that we are with, we share our answer with and then my partner showed me how they got it and I learned a new strategy that day. And at the very end, once everybody's got their answer, we'll put our answers on the board. That's when we have like a whole discussion as a class where you get to talk with other groups and talk about what they got as their answer. You're listening to her strategy and was it different from yours? All right, let's go over it. Okay. Well, I started by plotting my points by two points right here and then... It shows like new strategies that you can come up with and new ways to think about the problem. So like everyone's thinking is involved because everyone might have a different way of solving it and you can learn from those ways of solving it. Explaining your work is a big thing, especially if you like making mistakes, you know how you made it. I was on the first page because I was confused because when I was looking through, I was like, oh, there's three twenty fours, and then I realized there's two twenty six and three eighteen. You may have misconceptions, but instead of the teacher telling us, we go over our work and we can easily find the misconception and work together to find out what it was that we got wrong. Daddy's their misconception is that they thought that each side should be 12. Why was that a misconception? Why couldn't it be 12 on each side? Um, I feel like you have to make mistakes to like, um, like receive like, like good, like to receive greatness or something. If I like get something wrong, it's fun because I can like, you know, like redirect it. So it's like every time I make a mistake, I get smarter. When you feel like it's like, like a ding, like, you know, like a light bulb.